Hi, my name is Kalyani and I'm from Acute Data Systems. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to return goods in purchase order for Sage 100. Today, we'll be covering the following topics. Create return of goods, update the return of goods register, and verify the update in purchase order inquiry. Let's take a look. Use return of goods entry on material requisition or return module to enter the quantity of goods returned against purchase orders. In order to record return of goods, you'll go in purchase order module, click on the material requisition or return folder, and click on return of goods entry task. We'll click on the next batch number and click on accept. This is a return of goods entry window. Click on the next return number button, and we'll now look up for the purchase order number for the vendor from whom we had received the goods before, and now we wish to return them back to the vendor. Suppose we want to return the goods for this particular purchase order number 26 placed for the vendor Pacific Telephone. We'll double click on this. You receive all the information for that vendor. Click on the address tab. You can see the purchase address and the ship to address. If you want to make any changes to the addresses over here, you can do so at this point. Since we don't want to make any changes, we'll leave this as it is. Let's go ahead and click on lines tab. When you go to the Lines tab, it asks you the following question. Do you want to return the complete purchase order? Click on Yes to flag all the items as returned. So over here, you can see the items, speakers and calculators, the quantities that were ordered, the quantities that you are now planning to return, the unit cost, and the total amount for the return. If you want to make any changes to any field at this point of time, you can do so at this point. You can also add additional item and mark it as ordered or returned at this point of time. The total tabs gives you the information about the total return, which is the total amount of $40. If everything looks fine, you can go ahead and click on accept. In order to post this entry, we'll click on the printer icon, which is at the bottom right hand side. Click on the batch to print and hit on proceed. Let's go ahead and preview this return order form. This is a return order form which gives you the information about the items, the quantities that are ordered, received, returned, the unit cost for each item, and the total amount. Click on Yes in order to print the return order register. Select the batch to print and hit Proceed. Make sure that your current general ledger period matches the purchase order posting date. Click on Preview. This is the return of goods register, which gives you the information about the items, their description, the quantities that are getting returned right now, the unit cost, and the total amount for that vendor and the purchase order number. Close out of this. This gives you another report for the daily returns tax journal summary. You can verify this for accuracy. Click on yes in order to update the return of goods register. So this is how you have updated the return of goods register. In order to verify this update, we'll go in the increase folder and click on purchase order inquiry. Let's look up for the purchase order number for the vendor Pacific Telephone, which was number 26. You can see all the information again for the vendor. The address tab remains the same since we did not make any changes. And when you go on the lines tab, you can see all the information about the quantities that you had ordered before and the quantity received remains zero since you have returned these items and you can see the unit cost for each item and the total amount for the return click on ok so this is how you return the goods in purchase order and you verify the return in purchase order inquiry if you have any questions or suggestions, then leave us a comment below or contact us for more information. Thank you for watching.